Let us now switch directions and talk about something that I spoke in at length in the introductory video. It is about the origin of Google as an industry and the algorithm that uh, they use to search the web. So, I, I will now uh, call upon you all to imagine the following story. Please note, you really have to imagine, otherwise you cannot get the gist of what I am going to say. Please imagine that me and you are in the 1990s and I have this word with you that see there is something called the internet which is fast developing. There is something called a web page where people put some information and there is something called hyperlink, a hypertext where in the page you can link to another page. You click here, it just goes there, right. That is what you mean by hyperlink. By a link you mean something that links to somewhere else, but hyperlink means something that not just links, hyper means what more than uh, a link, hyperlink is more than a link. Hyperlink means it just does not link you to a new place, it even takes you to that place. So, a hyperlinks was uh, the invention of hypertext was uh, uh, um, a very uh, uh, big leap in, in computer science. So, there are pages with hyperlinks to other pages and now me and you are thinking of a startup idea in the 1990 where we see that internet is booming with a lot of web pages which are linked one page links to the other page uh, through a hyperlink. And we all start thinking, now there are so many pages here, thousands and thousands of pages. Today actually it is billions of billions pages, billions of pages, but I am talking about 1990. Me and you are having a coffee table conversation in 1990. So look, there are so many web pages. How do you know what to search for? How do you know which page has the right information? Assume there are so many pages, web pages talking about television technology, the television technology, which page is a authoritative source for me to refer. If there are 100 pages which talk about 100 different web pages written by 100 different technicians, technology experts, which is the best possible web page. Now, now, now I, I see, I repeat we are in 1990s, I see that this probably becomes a, a problem, is going to become a problem very soon. Now that there are few pages, people can sort of go through all the page and decide which one is good and then read it. But very soon the web pages will be populated with hundreds of thousands of pages. How on earth will people know what to look for, where, right? What is the immediate idea you think we both will get over this coffee table discussion in 1990? I for a reason would give this dumb idea that fine, we will hire some 1000 people, assume we had, we had so much money to pay 1000 people, I will say we will hire 1000 people and ask them to go through each and every page and maintain a sheet which has the following entries, following columns. First column will be the link, second column will be the keywords which tells me what is this link all about. There is a link, I will say it talks about television technology. There is another link, this talks about uh, uh, health tips, tips for good health. Another link that talks about um, uh, latest cars. Another link that talks about World War One, so on, right. First column will have the link, second column will have these keywords. What, are, what is the link all about? The third column will be, I will read, by me I mean this 1000 employees I am going to hire, each one of them will read the link and give the article a rating. Oh, this article on World War I is a, a 8 on 10 rating, 8 on 10, like how they give rating for movies. Another person sees another link on World War I and says, this is not so good, it is 3 on 10. So on and so on and so on, these 1000 employees in my startup industry, 
will go through every single possible page ever created, somehow we get access to all the pages let us say and we rate all the pages and we also put keywords. So that whenever someone searches for a keyword television technology, then it will come to this database of all the entries that my 1000 people uh, whom I have hired have populated, it will look at the highest rated page which has the keyword television technology and display that to him. Maybe it will sort it in the order of rating, best rated link first, next best second, third, fourth descending order, it will show it to him. Wonderful idea, everybody will come to my page to search for uh, information on what is the so called internet with so many pages. Very soon I will become a millionaire because everybody will be coming to my page, my page will become popular and once you have a popular portal, you can make a lot of money through ads or whatever, right. So here, here is my idea in 1990, let us say, but then nobody ever dreamt that there could be a much, much, much better way of doing this. I am going to explain next what is the much, much, much better way which paved its way for the birth of uh, as I said a 450 billion dollar industry called Google. Obviously my startup idea will not scale up, 1000 people can do how much of work? The number of pages that gets populated on the internet is in terms of millions. So very soon I will run out of uh, uh, man hours. I, I, I will be in need of more man hours and less employees obviously, 1000 is not enough. I should think of some other way of doing it, right. What is this way of doing it? It is very simple. I will tell you the simple idea which is behind searching and again I will try explaining it bit by bit with analogies, examples and questions, very simple. Larry Page and Sergey Brim, they came out with this idea of maintaining what is called a web graph. By a web graph you mean take a page, a web page, call it a node, take all the web pages, each web page is represented by a node. You wire a link between this page and this page namely this node and that corresponding node by a link. If this page has a hyperlink to that page. So for example, the same example I have been giving you people. This is my home page and I link the home page of my friend on my home page. Then my home page is a node, my friend's home page is a node, there is an edge from my home page to my friend's home page. Please note, this is a directed graph. Why? Me linking to prime minister's uh, uh, home page does not imply that the prime minister's home page also links to mine, it is completely one sided, correct. I like her, she does not mean she likes me, it is a very asymmetric relation. So this is what is called a web graph, where pages are denoted by nodes and a link represents a page pointing to another page through a hyperlink. The point is, if you collect this web, web graph, that is enough. It does the trick of having 1000 people or more. First question, how do I collect the web graph? What is the use of this web graph? How is this web graph going to solve the problem that I was uh, trying to resolve with some 1000 employees by hiring 1000 employees, right? I have 1000 employees in my organization and now I am saying you can replace these 1000 employees or even more by simply making note of the web graph. How do you get a web graph? What is a web graph? Think about it. It is a graph containing so many nodes and so many links. How do you even know the, in some nook corner of the world there will be a web page pointing to some other web page? I am saying that you should have the, all this information. How do you get this information? Do you have any idea how one can get this information? Any rough idea? Think about it. 